Antarctica new shock. Huge mysterious structure has been found deep under the ice. Antarctica, the South Pole, is full of mysteries. Well, there's very few people allowed to go there, first of all. And experts are still unearthing huge surprises. The latest one is so big that it's been classed as the deepest canyon on the Earth. The deepest area of the Earth. Deep beneath the ice-covered continent, the experts found a huge canyon which has gone unnoticed throughout human history. That's because, of course, they couldn't see what was under there. But now using radar technology, scientists are able to peer five kilometers below the snow and ice. It's as if the ice was not there. They could see what's there as if it was barren. The canyon is found near the Denman Glacier on the west of Antarctica and it stretches more than 11,500 feet below sea level, almost as deep as the average depth of the ocean. The average depth of the ocean. Now we know the uh, on land, the largest, the deepest area is the Dead Sea, about 1,500 feet. This is about 10 times lower, deeper. Now it's also eight times deeper than the Dead Sea, 10 times, okay, eight times deeper. It's the lowest exposed land mass on Earth, the Dead Sea. Previous attempts to map the subsurface of this Denman Glacier were not possible because the deep ice flow beneath the surface skewered the results, presenting it as much shallower than scientists thought it would be. But the latest effort to create the map known as the bed machine, one word, bed machine, combined the ice flow information with seismic activity and created a detailed map. Matthew Morlingen, who studies ice sheet modeling at the University of California in Irvine, said that there have been many attempts to sound the bed of Denman, but every time they flew over the canyon, they could not see it in the radar data. He says the trough is so entrenched that you get side echoes from the walls of the valley and they make it impossible to detect the reflection from the actual bed of the glacier. Ultimately, bed machine Antarctica presents a mixed picture. The ice streams in some areas are relatively well protected by their underlying ground features, while others on retrograde beds are shown to be more at risk from potential marine ice sheet instability. In the past, researchers showed that Antarctica is losing a staggering 200 billion tons of ice every year. Not only does the ice cap melt leading to rising sea levels, but it will contribute to more natural disasters. The professor of Earth Observation of the University of Leeds, Andrew Shepard, the lead author of an earlier study published in journal Nature said, around Brooklyn, you get flooding once a year or so, but if you raise sea levels by just 15 centimeters, I guess that's about the size of your uh, index finger, then that's going to happen 20 times a year. And according to uh, Google Interactive Map, Fire Tree, a two meter rise or a six foot rise could ruin the Netherlands with most of the country being submerged. That's Holland. Holland has uh, dikes, as we know, around it so it doesn't flood but that would definitely make it go underwater. In the UK, north of Scotland would suffer a similar fate because large swaths of the east of England would also become uninhabitable just north of uh, London, even, even the Thames River, but especially north of England, north London, around um, Lincolnshire, uh, you know, south of Yorkshire, that's going to be flooded on the east. Now lying New York, low lying in New York would also be heavily damaged amid rapidly rising sea levels. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.